A pleasant good night to all our viewers around the world. We are the New Creation Ministry and we are coming to you live on set this evening, bringing to you into your homes tonight our Deliverance Night service. You know, it's an honor, it's a privilege to be able to be with you tonight. I'll invite you at this point in time to bow your hearts with me in a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. Father, we give you glory. We give you honor tonight, for there is none like unto you. Father, we thank you for your saving grace and your new mercies, which we experience every day, O oh God. Father, tonight, in the name of Jesus, as your people have gathered together, mighty Father, in oneness of mind and in spirit tonight, Father, in full agreement tonight, to lift up the name of Jesus and even to sit, mighty Father, and break the bread of life tonight. Heavenly Father, we impart the power of your anointing, Father, upon each and every respect persons that are looking that are participating in worship tonight father from the crown of their head unto the soles of their feet father you touch them tonight oh god father renew energies tonight in the mighty name of jesus father we invoke the divine presence of your holy ghost mighty father in respective homes mighty father even in the hospital bedrooms mighty father we father we decree and declare that no weapon that is formed against them none shall prosper tonight and everything that has risen risen up against them in judgment we condemn tonight in, in the, the name, name of Jesus. Jesus father we decree and declare that your word would go forth with power and with might tonight mighty father breaking asunder mighty father stony hearts mighty father touching mighty father even down to the very marrow of their bones tonight father discerning the very intents of their heart tonight in the name of Jesus Praise father we pray oh God that deliverance will come to your people tonight through your words Praise tonight in Jesus mighty in name Jesus we pray Everybody right. say amen, amen. and amen. amen. Tonight, amen. believers, if you're just joining us, we are the New Creation Ministry. I'm Reverend Michelle Centros, and this is Bishop Carl Centros. And it's a privilege, it's an honor this evening to be able to host you. A happy Republic Day to the nation of Trinidad and Tobago this evening. Praise the name of Praise the Lord. Lord. And for those of you that are celebrating your birthday today, a happy birthday, a special happy birthday going out to Sheila and Johnson, brother. Sheila and Johnson tonight, you know, God's blessings uh, continue with you. Praise the name of Praise the Lord. Lord. And we know that that which God has started in your life you he's more than able to finish it finish tonight it, praise the name of the lord tonight with us no stranger their voices are no stranger to facebook tonight is our very own sister genevieve sister kylie and sister Shivon tonight that will lead us in worship song so i'll hand over to them at this point in time to lead praise us lord. in worship Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord tonight. Praise Lord, the name there's of the none Lord. like you. None hallelujah. no one can take your place. Thank you, Jesus. Worthy are you, Lord. And hallelujah. And worthy to be praised. And Thank lifted you, up and magnified. Hallelujah. You are so good hallelujah. tonight to us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for Thank everything you, that you have. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We worship you tonight, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We stand up acknowledging you, Lord. That you are our help in our times of need, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord.
just joined us tonight we are again at the new creation ministries coming to you live our on live on our online live streaming oh, service tonight yeah, yeah, yeah. our deliverance night service Sata to you Rabbi. my god we are streaming live from the nation of trinidad and tobago praise the name of the lord it's a pleasure it's an honor it's a privilege to be able to host you tonight praise the name of the lord today in the nation of trinidad and tobago we are celebrating our republic today praise the name of the lord so today in our nation my god it's a national holiday Praise the name of the Lord. But you know what? We give God praise and thanks for you tonight. We thank God for his mercies because, my God, it is the 24th of September, 2020, and we are still in the land of the living. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise my the Lord. God, our God has been faithful to us. Oh, he yes. is faithful to us. Oh, yes. And he will continue to be faithful Hallelujah. to us. As long as he should tarry, my God, we would see, my God, the closing off of the year 2020, my God, and we will roll over into the year 2021. Praise, Praise the, the name of the Lord. Remember, my God, you shall not die but you shall live tonight. Praise, praise the name the of the Lord. the Lord. Every word that God has spoken into your life tonight, it must accomplish must what has accomplish. been set out to do. Amen. So you sit and ponder, meditate on that tonight. My God, what have God told you tonight? What are his promises towards you my tonight? God, God. Have they been fulfilled? My God, if they have not yet been fulfilled tonight, my God, you know beyond a shadow of a doubt, God is more than able to keep that which belongs Amen. to him Amen. tonight. Amen. Amen. The Amen. enemy might Amen. just try. He can only try, but he cannot prevail tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know who I'm talking to tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. But what I do know is that our God, my God, he can keep you tonight. He's able to keep. He's able to save. And he's able to satisfy tonight. Praise the name of the Lord. Tonight, believers, it's my honor. It's my privilege, my God, to give to you tonight. God's man servant, Bishop Reverend Carl Sandros. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, Pastor Michel. Praise the Lord. Tonight, indeed it, indeed, it is a wonderful privilege for us to come from our home to your home. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord as we have church. And Amen. we know, praise the name of the Lord, that we are the church, we are the ecclesia of God. And what is so special on tonight is that, praise the name of the Lord, this week, it is a week, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, as we lead up pray, to atonement at one month oh, with yes. God. Amen. It is a, not a week of rehearsal, praise the name of the Lord, introspection, examining ourselves and yes. seeing where we are. Amen. And the knowing whether or not, praise the name of the Lord, that we are in oneness with God, praise the name of the Lord, yes. or whether we are prepared to be reconciled back to God, praise the name of the Lord. Tonight also, praise the name of the Lord of the day. As Pastor Mitchell said, we are celebrating, 
Praise the name of the Lord. Another um, special event in our country. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is uh, Republic Day. And Republic Day, we are celebrating our 44 Republic in Trinidad and Tobago. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Today is a day that marks, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, when, the, my God, we no longer were under the monarchy. Praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. And uh, today, which is the 24th of September, it marks, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, the first day, hallelujah, that our parliament had its first sitting. Yeah. And our parliament had its first sitting on a day like today, Republic Day. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, yes, we got our Republic, and um, we got our Republic status on the 1st of August. Praise the name of the Lord, but um, praise the name of the Lord, but they could not uh, put Republic and also Independence on the same day, which would have been the 1st of August. So what, my God, what our uh, what our leaders would have uh, done in their wisdom, it is uh, they celebrate Republic Day on the 24th of September, which is the first sitting of Parliament. Praise the name praise of the Lord. Lord. So we Amen. praise the name of the Lord are celebrating Republic Day because it marks a significant day in the history of Trinidad and Tobago. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Praise and God. we also celebrate, praise the name of the Lord, or we'll be celebrating a tournament because it marks a significant day, my God. It marks a significant day in the calendar of God. Praise amen, the name of the amen, Lord. Amen. Atonement, praise the name of the Lord, would have been that day. Hallelujah. That God would have given, praise the name of instruction to his people. And he told them that I want you, praise the name of the Lord, to perform this these rituals which we don't have to perform today Amen. praise the name of the lord hallelujah my god but the rituals that they performed then my god it was a shadow of good things to come things as to come. paul said in hebrews chapter 10 and verses 1 he said it was a shadow of good things to come and i want you to understand those good things are yet to come praise the name of the lord Amen. yes jesus came and the lord and savior jesus christ he fulfilled the passover praise the name of the Lord. He dealt my God with the effect my God. But as we said to you that atonement will deal with the cause Amen. and we would have looked or we look at cause and effect on Tuesday and we know who is the cause. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. But the night as we lead up to atonement, which is Sunday, we want to continue to speak to you about atonement because when God spoke to the children of Israel, he told them that atonement must be something forever. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Atonement must not be something to stop when the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ comes because atonement is yet to be fulfilled. Amen. Atonement speaks about at one month. Hallelujah. Amen. And at one month can only take place. Full reconciliation to God can only take place after the cause of sin is being removed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I want you to understand the praise the name of the Lord. We can see these, my God, special days are coming up one after the other. Feast of trumpets, atonement, and my God, which speaks of atonement or reconciliation to God. Amen. And just after that, we have the Feast of Tabernacle, which speaks about tabernacling with God yeah. when John said hallelujah yeah. that after that my God after that reconciliation yeah. after my God getting rid of all rebels yeah. in the my God in the millennium yeah. my God that millennium period that, that Jesus yeah. will have to come that 1000 years yeah. where the devil will be locked up yeah. and all rebel will be and all sin will be rid of yeah. and my my God, after that, the Bible said that Satan was loose for a short period of time. And there were nations who rose up with him. And my God, and they also were slain with him. Because at that time, hallelujah, my God, Satan was then cast into the lake of fire. And all those that followed him were cast into the lake of fire. But you know what happened after? John said, I saw the new Jerusalem. 
Jerusalem. I saw the city of God leaving heaven and coming down to the earth. We are talking about tabernacling with God now as it was in the beginning. So shall it be in the end. Hallelujah. Tonight we want to talk to you a bit about Passover and we want you to open your spirit as we rehearse, as we get ready. My God, as a bride, will get ready for her wedding. Yes, as amen. a groom, as a bride, will get ready to meet her groom. Yes. My God, before even she begins to, to prepare herself, there is a certain amount of rehearsals. Yes, rehearsals amen, to amen. make sure that she have it right. Yes. I want you to understand, as we get ready, to meet the groom. <laughs> Hallelujah. It is important that we rehearse and see where we are and make sure that we have it right. Praise, Praise the Lord at this point in time. Amen. I will pass back to Pastor Michel, mm. who will start us on tonight. Praise the Lord. Praise mm. the Lord. Hallelujah. Dear believers, what a wonderful season that we are presently in. Praise the name of the Lord. And even my God, as the world has been hit, my God, with this pandemic. COVID-19. My God, I believe beyond a shadow of a doubt that the believers, they are being tested like never before. Praise the name of the Lord. Their faithfulness towards God. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it's easy, my God, having a shepherd over you. Praise my God. God, you're covering over you and pointing you in that direction. But my God, now presently in our nation my god presently for now the churches has been closed off no uh, social gathering in that magnitude i believe we can just have about 10 persons praise the name of the lord but we the, the churches my god nationwide have been shut down but my god your faithfulness to god praise the name of the lord is what matters my god for some of us and i pray god that we have not backslidden Praise the name of the Lord. I pray, God, that we have been connected, my God, more, even more tightly or securely to Praise Jesus the Christ. Bless the Praise Lord. the name of the Lord. Amen. Tonight, believers, we would like to continue. Remember, on Sunday night, we were looking at the topic at one meant, atonement, sorry, or at one meant with God. And as you can recall, we told you even in Bible studies that atonement, one of the keys for understanding atonement, my God, is applying the principle of cause and effect knowing my god at what time praise the name of the lord the messiah my god at his first advent what he came to do and at his second advent what he will be coming to do Amen. praise the name of the lord at his first advent my god he came to deal with the effects of sin praise the name of my the god. lord but at his second advent he's coming to deal with the cause of it amen, praise amen, the name amen, of the lord amen, so tonight amen. believers we would like to praise continue the praise the name of the lord and we are looking in the book of leviticus chapter 16 and verses 29 and this shall be a statue forever unto you praise the lord bless the lord now praise the name of the lord pastor michel i am asked you to go to leviticus 16 verses 29 praise the name of the lord hallelujah and uh, praise the lord and we want to read leviticus Chapter 16, verse 29, we are, we are moving on tonight because Passover is Sunday and we want to get in as much as we can get in. Atonement. Praise the name of the Lord. Sorry, I'm, I'm saying Passover. Atonement. Uh, atonement, sorry. Praise the name of the Lord. It's Sunday and we want to get in as much as we can get in. So I'm reading from verses 29 and Bible reading here. And this shall be a statue forever unto you. And I want you to look at that forever. So God is saying to, to the children of Israel, this shall be a statue forever unto you. That in the seventh month, on the tenth day of the month, shall shall you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it's one of your own country or a stranger that subdues it among you. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But I, I want you to see it is the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. In that shadow. Hallelujah. Of uh, of atonement, hallelujah, which is a good thing to come. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God was saying here to the children of Israel, hallelujah, that it must and this shall be a statue forever unto you. Praise, Praise the, Lord. the Lord. So it is a statue forever, not my God, for a period of time. Amen. Not for until my God, you know, some people say my God, I, uh, the, the Old Testament, my God, it's the Old Testament is fulfilled. So, uh, my God, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord. My God, Feast of Trumpet is yet to be fulfilled. Yeah. Passover is yet to be fulfilled. Praise yeah. the name of the Lord. Atonement. Sorry. 
I'm, I'm saying Passover. Atonement is yet to be fulfilled. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Because Passover is already fulfilled. Atonement is yet to be fulfilled. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But God is saying to the children of Israel, He said that, that it must be a statue forever unto you. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. And me, my God, and praise the name of the Lord. And I'm, what forever mean? Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Statue and, and statue, Pastor Michel, statue mean there a permanent established rule or law. So if something is permanent, Bishop, my God, it is it is forever established. Praise the Lord. Settled. Amen. Yes. So so when you look at the Hebrew, when you look at the Hebrew word there for that for that statue, if you if you look at that Hebrew word there, statue, it it, 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 it is a permanent established rule or law. Yes, yes. It is a statue. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord. And and uh, praise the name of the Lord. So, so my God, when, when God said to the children of Israel, and this shall be a statue forever unto you, praise the name of the Lord. He's talking about something permanently established, that rule, that law that is permanently established. And Amen. He, what he's saying here, more or less, is drawing nigh from the Feast of Trumpets, my God, when that alert, my God, has been sounded. My God, and we, we know that the Feast of Trumpets, it points to the rapture of the church or the catching away of the church. Praise but they're saying that should the catching of the way of the church doesn't take place, you are to do some deep introspection. My God, afflict your souls. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the Bible says that you shall afflict your souls and do no work at all, whether it be one of your own country or a stranger that sojourneth, my God, among you. So we are supposed to, at this period of time, my God, do some deep searching. Praise, praise the Lord. The Bless the Lord. Lord. So praise the name of the Lord, my God. So, so it, it's a time of rehearsal for us. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. We don't do or carry out the rituals. No. But I want you to understand, my God, these feasts, they symbolize certain things. Yes. They were shadows of good things. Amen. Shadows, yes. And we praise the name of the Lord. We ought to afflict our souls, my God, whether it is in, in deep searching and fasting, in praying and crying out to God in repentance. Amen. Praise the name Amen. of the Lord. Because I want you to understand that the only thing, hallelujah, that can bring you close to God is forgiveness for your sin. Amen. For the Bible Amen. teaches that godly sorrow work at repentance unto salvation. salvation. So it means if you're not sorrowful for your sins, yeah. then God will not forgive you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Godly sorrow work at repentance. Repentance means to ask for forgiveness, to yeah. make a roundabout turn, and then you will have the salvation of God. Amen. Amen. God don't give you salvation unless you are sorry for what you did. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the name of the Lord. Amen. So my God, we feel in the my God, I am serving the Lord. I did something wrong. God is going to forgive me because Jesus died for me. I want you to understand you must repent. Yes, yes. You yes. have to repent to receive the forgiveness of God. Amen. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord, Pastor Misha. Remember on Sunday we spoke a lot about blood, but we would like to continue. Blood for reconciliation was necessary. And Pastor Michel, I love it. Blood for reconciliation. Reconciliation. Praise the name of the Lord. It was necessary. To, to move. Blood for reconciliation was necessary. Yes. If you look at Hebrews 9 and verses 22. Hebrews 9 and verses 22, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, the, the Bible reads it, and almost all things by the law purge with blood, and without the shedding of blood, no remission for sin, praise the name yes, of the Lord, yes, yes. no remission for sin, so what you will see, praise the name of the Lord, my God, even in atonement, praise the name of the Lord, Similar to what my God, the instruction that would have been given for Passover in atonement, my God, one of the one of the animal that was slain, my God, it was slain, my God, it was slain as a sacrifice for the people. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen. So I want you to understand. Praise the name of the Lord, my God. You you see two goat there. One was slain, and the other, the sins of the people, were, were, were laid on the head of that goat, and that goat was sent out into the wilderness there is a there is a significant behind that why the goat why the sins of the people was laid on the goat and the goat was sent out into the wilderness and my god praise the name of the lord this is the reason why we say that that sin my god the cause of sin must be removed praise amen, the name of the lord amen, amen. the cause of sin must be removed my god before there is any type of reconciliation praise the lord amen, amen. Bless the Lord. Yes, so, Lord. So praise the name of the Lord. Pastor Michel, go further. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. 
blood sacrifices for atonement originated with God and then Cain and then Abel. Praise the name of the Lord. So we, we are seeing by God blood sacrifice and how necessary it was. Yes. It originated with God. God is the first. My God had slain an animal and took the skin of the animal and he clothed Adam and Eve. Praise the Lord. Yes. And we see Cain and Abel. If you look at Genesis chapter 3 verses 21. Yes. Genesis chapter 3 verses 21. I'm reading. Yes. The Bible said unto Adam also yes. and his wife yes. did the Lord make coats of skin and he clothed them. Yes. So my God, to make coat of skin, to clothe them, he had to slay an animal. Praise yes. the name of the Lord. Yes. So he made coat of skin. Yes. Made, it could have only been made from animals. Yes. You see, God taught Adam to offer a sacrifice in looking forward yeah. to the promised redeemer. God, he taught Adam, praise the name of the Lord, yeah. to offer a sacrifice looking forward yeah. to looking forward to the promised redeemer. So it was it was a, a rehearsal. It was a rehearsal. Or, or a shadow of good things. It was a God. shadow of good things. Yeah. So even what the Lord was doing, hallelujah, yeah. he, he taught Adam yeah. to offer a, 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 a sacrifice yeah. in looking Looking yeah. forward yeah. to the promised redeemer. If, if you look, look, come on, look with me in Genesis yeah. chapter 4, verses 7, yeah. to, to verses 1 to 7. Yeah. Genesis 4, verses 1 to 7. Genesis of the four verses one to seven. We are going. We are in the Bible, and we want to. We want to pour out as much as we we can pour out. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at, at, at Genesis. We told you yeah. chapter four verses one to seven. Yeah. Yeah. Praise Sister the name. Abigail, Sister Abigail, John is saying atonement speaks about the complete removal. Oh, hallelujah! That's yeah. the. My God, that is the point. Correct. It speaks about a complete removal. Yes. Complete removal, praise the name of the Lord, Amen. of sin. Hallelujah. Yes. We know that, my God, we are delivered from sin now in our bodies. Amen. But the cause for sin is still there. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much, sister. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. So look at Genesis of the 4, verses 1 to 7. Yes. I said here yes. that God made from an animal, yes. God, God from an an animal, my God, he took that, that coat of skin, yeah. hallelujah, yeah. and I told you that God taught Adam to offer an, a sacrifice yeah. in looking forward to the promised redeemer. Yes. Look at Genesis 4 verses 1 to 7, yeah. and Adam knew Eve, his wife, yeah. and she conceived, and, yeah. and she bore unto their Cain and said, yeah. I, have, I have gotten a, a son from God, yeah. and she again bore a son Abel. Yeah. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but, but, but Cain was a teller of the ground. And in, and, in, and in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground and offered unto God. Yes. And Abel also brought of the fatling of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel yeah. and to his offering because yeah. that is the kind of offering yeah. that God would have taught Adam and Eve. Praise yes, the name of the Lord. Yes, yes. God taught Adam and Eve, my God, that kind of offering when he slayed, hallelujah, that animal. Praise the Lord. Look at verses 5. But unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrath and his countenance fell. And the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wrath? And why is thy countenance fallen? If thou doest well, shall thou not be accepted? If thou do it in a, if thou had done in accordance yes. to the instruction or the teaching that I give to your parents, yes. will you not have been accepted? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And if thou doest not well, yes. send light at the door, yes. and unto thee yes. shall be and unto thee yes. shall be his desire, yes. and thou shall rule over him. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. So somebody, I want you to understand yes. that God, hallelujah, yes. my God, it's all of this was rehearsal. Come on about it. Yes, yes. All of this, my God, hallelujah. Yes. The real thing, yes. the, the my God, the the 
the, 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 the lamb mm. that God really desired mm. was a spotless lamb. Mm. No goat or, or, or sheep could have, mm. could have, my God, fulfilled that purpose. Mm. I want you to understand all these things were shadows. Mm. All these things were leading up to something great. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm. And the Bible teaches us mm. when the fullness of time came, mm. God sent his son. Hallelujah. Mm. Oh, born of a woman. Mm. I want you to understand. Hallelujah. God had to manifest himself in the flesh and come here and die for the sins of, of mankind because my God all these rituals could not have get the job done but there was a shadow of good things to come hallelujah praise the Lord even before we move on there you know even looking back my God as to how God taught them you know God is requiring of us my God as, uh, requiring of us tonight that we give ourselves as living sacrifices and some of us my God we want to give God what we feel to give to him my God. but it's not what we feel to give is what God requires Amen. Of what us. he requires of us of the Lord a broken uh, heart and a contrite my God. spirit and, my God. And, and that is what Cain that is the mistake Cain made yes. Cain made a mistake because you know what mommy and daddy custom offering to God Yes. You know what God would have shown them. Praise yes. the name of the Lord. Yes. Because, hallelujah, God, my God, God made the first example. Mm. But here it is, you came and you give God, my God, out of the, the, the fruit of the ground. Yes. And yes. not my God, and not blood sacrifice. Yes. yes. My God. Yes. So praise the name of the Lord, Pastor Michel. Mm. Praise, praise the, the Lord. name of the Lord. The day of atonement looks forward to the time when Satan's deception will be removed and he will no longer be free to influence and deceive mankind. Praise the Lord. So I, I want you to take note of this. And I'm seeing some of our preachers, you're preaching here and we give God praise and thanks for you. Praise the name of the Lord. You're doing well. And I know that the folks there, they're encouraged by your words. Praise the Lord. But Pastor Michel said here, the day of atonement, praise the name of the Lord. Yes. Also, praise the name of the Lord. I want to go back to, mm. to what um, Sister Abigail would have said yes. a while ago just now. Mm. And the, the, you said the day of atonement, mm. it looks forward to the time mm. when Satan deception mm. will be removed mm. and he will no longer be free mm. to influence and deceive mankind. Oh praise the Lord. Yes. And you sent us to Revelations 20. Yes. Look at Revelations chapter 20. With me, yeah. look at Revelations 20 verses 1 to 3. Amen. Revelations 20 verses 1 to 3. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to say amen. Revelation 20 verses 1 to 3. So we are talking about the removal of the cause in that. Yeah. Where, when the cause is being removed, he will no longer be free to influence and deceive mankind. Yes, amen. Praise the Lord. So look at, 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 at Revelation chapter 20 verses 1 to 3. And this is what the millennium period is all about. Amen. 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 Praise the name of the Lord. So let us look at Revelation chapter 20 verses 1 to 3. You have it say amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. And the Bible reads, And I saw an angel come down from heaven, yeah. having the key of the bottomless pit, yeah. and a great chain in his hand. Yeah. So you are seeing here that, that God have an angel yeah. that is a sign yeah. to remove the cause of sin. Amen. Yes. To remove the cause of sin, mm. my God, totally. Mm. And that angel have an assignment because the angel mm. have a key mm. and he have a chain. Amen. He have a key and he have a chain. Let us look at verses 2. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm. And he laid hold on who? Yeah. On the dragon, mm. that old serpent, which is who? Yeah. Which is the devil? I hope you are in the, in your Bibles. Mm -hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Come on, we want to read, read that, that part again. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. It is important mm -hmm. that you that you get this. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. And the, that angel with that key and that chain in his hand, mm -hmm. he laid hold on the, the dragon, that old serpent, mm -hmm. which is who mm -hmm. the devil and the also who. Satan, why the Bible is calling all most of his name here? Yeah. Devil, dragon, Satan, because the Bible wants you to know that my God, the angel is now laid hands on the cause of sin. They praise the Lord. Amen. So my God, and he did what with him? And he bound him for how long? For a thousand years. So you're seeing the angel here is bonging the cause of sin for 1,000 years. And it cast him where? 
into the bottomless pit yeah. and he shut it and he shut him up yeah. and he set a seal upon him yeah. because I want you to understand and he set a seal upon him look at that yeah. that he should deceive the nations no more yeah. till the thousand years yeah. should be fulfilled yeah. and after that yeah. he must be loose yeah. for a little season yeah. praise yeah. the Lord yeah. so my God yeah. I want you to understand atonement yeah. it is when praise the name of the Lord yeah. my God the cause of sin yeah. will be totally removed yeah. where my God he will be able to deceive the nations no more yeah. he will be able to influence yeah. my God yeah. mankind to disobey God no more. Yeah. I want you to understand what we saw here. Yeah. It is the angel did not only yeah. place him yeah. in the bottomless pit, yeah. but what the angel do yeah. is a seal that was placed on him. Hallelujah. Yeah. He was sealed. Yeah. You know, my God, I want you to, you know, some of you, yeah. you look at the movie and you, you look at um, yeah. um, this movie yeah. give you a, a, a little... Um, inside of, of um, this movie that we that is run ever so often um um no this one this one with the um oh boy in, in, in egypt where they went in in egypt then released the seal the from the, the mummy where they released the seal from the mummy because when the, my god when these demons when um these when the place certain stronghold demons there yeah. they used to put a seal yeah. to make sure that those demons don't come up yeah. and if those seal is removed then the demons is going to come up yeah. so they had to put a seal yeah. on lucifer yeah. my god uh, on that satan after the, that is after the thousand years. Yes. Praise the name before of the Lord. The no, 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 no. That, that is before the thousand years. Because the loosen, praise the name of the Lord. The, 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 my God, they put a seal on him for a thousand years. For a thousand years. And that seal that it placed on him for a thousand years to lose him for a little time. Yes. My God, but you know something happened after that? <laughs> after the loose him? Yeah. My God, something happened after the loose him. And, and, and let us read that. I, I will, let us read verses 4. Yeah. Let us see what happened. Yeah. Uh, my God, praise the Lord. I, I, I will talk about that I think a little later. Yeah. Praise the name of God. Because when the loose him, if you go on, yeah. you will see after the loose the devil, yeah. after the loose Satan, yeah. You see nations begin to rise up again with him. Yeah. But for that thousand years, there was no problem. Yes. <laughs> My God, for that thousand years, there was no problem until they loose the cause again. Praise the Lord. So somebody, atonement is going to remove the cause. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus has already took care of the effect. Amen. Amen. We are not bound by sin. Come on, somebody. Amen. We Amen. are free from sin. Yes, the yes, blood yes. of Jesus that is upon our life, it Amen. makes us Amen. free from Amen. sin. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not subject. We are not slaves to sin. Amen. We can say no to sin because of the Holy Ghost that lives in us. Hallelujah. But somebody, the cause is still there. We are still tempted to sin. Amen. We are still tempted to sin. My God. My God, I'm talking about my God. Everyone is tempted to sin. My God, even my God, even the priest is tempted to sin. Come on, somebody. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So my God, hallelujah. When the priest is praying for you, you have to pray for himself too. <laughs> because he is tempted to sin also. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor Michel, go ahead. We want to go ahead. So Satan is the author of sin. Although our human nature has a part to play in our sins, sin, Satan the devil, the tempter, bears great responsibility for influencing mankind to disobey God. So Pastor Michel is say, saying here that all of our human nature have a part to play in our sin, our human nature. We are free moral agents, having the power of choice. Jesus came and he dealt with the effect of sin. He dealt with the effect, my God, of sin so that we, praise the name of the Lord, can make the right decision. Praise the Lord. Yes. Then, my God, there is no reason for you to blame the devil for your sin. 
And that is what happened with us. I want you to understand, my God. Mm -hmm. We allow small things to cause us to sin mm -hmm. against God. Mm -hmm. I want you to understand, my God. Mm -hmm. Small petty reason. Mm -hmm. You have what is happening now. Mm -hmm. And it's a serious thing. Mm -hmm. What is happening now, my God. Mm -hmm. You have you have men walking away on the wife. Mm -hmm. For my God, for petty reason. Mm -hmm. And going and marrying another woman. Mm -hmm. And they expect you, my God, to rejoice with them over that. Mm -hmm. Your woman divorcing their husbands mm -hmm. and going, my God, to live their own life mm -hmm. and live it, my God, loosely, mm -hmm. my God, and they want you to rejoice with them over that mm -hmm. because of petty reasons. Mm -hmm. And my God, if you don't rejoice with them over that, they hate you. Mm -hmm. If you don't rejoice over that, my God, mm -hmm. with, with them, they want to kill you. Mm -hmm. But I want you to understand, listen, Miss and Bob, mm -hmm. my God, mm -hmm. as Pastor Michel said, mm -hmm. our human nature. Mm -hmm. has a part to play mm -hmm. in, in our sins. Yes, yes, yes our yes. human nature, we are tempted. Mm -hmm. But my God, we have the, the power to resist temptation. Yes. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. She said, Satan, the devil, mm -hmm. the tempter, mm -hmm. he bears great responsibility mm -hmm. for influencing mankind to disobey God. Yeah. And my God, Adam and Eve, mm -hmm. he started it there. He started it from the Garden of Eden. Mm -hmm. Give me a script of verse. Matthew, Matthew chapter 4 and verses 3. Matthew chapter 4 and verses 3. I would say amen. Mm -hmm. Matthew 4 and verses 3. Mm -hmm. Matthew 4 and verses 3. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise you have it. Matthew 4 and verses 3. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread. Yes. So you're seeing here the devil tempting even Jesus. Yeah. Amen. The tempter come to him and telling him, turn these stones and my God. If Jesus was not strong, who's our greatest example, I want you to understand he would have submitted himself mm -hmm. to the temptations of the devil. Amen. Yes, yes. And that is what is happening to us now. The devil is tempting us in so many ways. My God, I want you to know, listen, listen, about it. how you make up your bed, you're going to lie on it. Yes, Don't amen. blame nobody for the wrong things that you're doing. Amen. Don't blame nobody. I want you to understand, my God. Don't blame nobody, my God, for the direction that you're going. Yeah. Blame yourself because you're the free moral agent and you have the power to choose. Amen. My yeah. God, when you stand before the white throne judgment, you cannot tell them that it's your mother. You cannot tell them it's your pastor. You cannot tell them it's your brother. You cannot tell them it's your sister. You'll be held accountable, my God, for the wrong things that you're you're doing right here. Amen, amen, amen. Don't blame anyone. Amen. So my God, Satan tempt. He tempt the tempter. He tempt Jesus, but Jesus did not yield to the tempt, yes. to that temptation. If you look also at at, at, at Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter three and verses five. First Thessalonians three and verses five. Look at First Thessalonians three and verses five. For this cause. When I can no longer forbear, Paul is saying, for this cause, Amen. when I can no longer forbear, he said, I send to know your faith. I send to know your faith. Yeah. Lest by some means the tempter have tempted you and our labor be in vain. Yes. So Paul is saying, although you hear the word of God, come on. Although we know, hallelujah, that you, 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 you ought to be strong in the things of God. Yes. I send, my God, I send to inquire. Yeah. I send to inquire to know of your faith. To know if you are still trusting in God. Oh my God. Why? Lest by some means the tempter would have tempted you and our labor be in vain. <laughs> so as long as the tempter is here, my God, no, listen to about it. As long as the tempter is here, no Christian, no child of God. The Bible teaches, let every man that think he stand it, yes, take yes. heed lest he fall. Amen, amen. 
every man that think in his stand. My God, that is for the priest also. My God. And you know, Bishop, I love that because he says, I sent to know your faith. So in other words, he was inquiring of them. My God. My God, you're, you're the level that you're at. Are you still praying? Are you still studying the word of God? My God. Are you doing what the Bible commands you to do? My God. So you see here, my God, they're covering, looking in on them. You know, some people say, well, where are you calling me for? Yeah. To find out why it is I do this and yeah. why it is I do that. Because we have a responsibility to watch for your souls tonight. Because the tempter is wrong. Yes. Because, my God, the tempter, the cause for sin is still here. Amen, amen. And this is the reason why we have to repent every day. Yeah. Because the cause is still here. And don't believe that, my God. Pastor Michelle, I want you to go. You know, you know, I want you to look at that. Come on. Yeah. You look at Paul's area. He said, by some means. By some means. Look at that. Amen. He said, less by some means. And I want you to <laughs> I want you to expound on, on that a bit. By some means. By some means, it means he has innumerable. He's referring to Satan here now. He has innumerable means and many millenniums of experience and cannot be overcome by argument. Pause the past mission. Yeah. He, what Paul is saying here by some means, Paul was referring to that Satan he had in he had innumerable means. It means you have many different means. Praise yes, the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. My God. And many and many millennium of experience. <laughs> you are not. You know, millennium of experience, they mean thousands of years yes. of experience. My God, if you were able to draw a third, one third of the angels, the hosts <laughs> of heaven, my God, you were able to influence them in a perfect state. My God, who is you and I who are just merely existing, what, for a couple of years? My God, and you know what I love here, Pastor Michel? Yes. You said, hallelujah, he cannot be overcome by argument. No, no. There is no can't. argument that you can make to overcome the devil. <laughs> the devil have millennium of experience. My God, look, he did it with <laughs> Eve in the garden. The mistake that Eve made was even open her ears my God, to listen to him. Amen. To have a conversation with him. That was a mistake that she made because of experience. He had experience on her. He will always be a threat as long as he's here. Yeah. My God, the, the climax or the fullness of atonement will remove him and he will be bound in train for a thousand years and released for a short time. And then, my God, he and all those who follow him, my God, will go down to the pit of hell with him. Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. yes. Pastor Michel, go ahead. So, he has innumerable means and many millenniums of experience and cannot be overcome by argument mm -hmm. or pleading mercy or any other <laughs> dealings with him. Pleading mercy. I want you to understand, you don't, you don't, you don't get mixed up with the devil. <laughs> you don't go and Same dance with, you don't go and dance with the devil. And don't expect my God to, to, and don't expect him not to mash your toe. <laughs> you don't dance with the devil and walk away. Yes, yes. You will not walk away on skin as long as you're dancing with the devil. I want you to understand, listen to me somebody. As Pastor Mitchell said and there a while ago, my God, there is no pleader of mercy. No. Can't dance with the devil and then start to plead mercy. No. And we, we are not only referring here, Miss when Bishop is talking about dancing with the devil, we are not only referring here to witchcraft, eh? Or putting your hand in negromancy. Some of us, my God, we feel we can get away with a little adultery and a fornication yes. and a little lying and yes. thief in yes. the end, yes. Eh? Yes. And we believe that we will come out unscathed. No. My God, remember the thief on the cross. He had to pay that price. My God. Amen. 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 Pass me to go ahead. Yes. He must be rejected and resisted at all relationship cut off from him he must be rejected you see somebody i want you to understand this is what this rehearsal into, uh, uh, into atonement is all about because yes. the cause of sin will be removed but my god he must be rejected he must be rejected and and resist and all relationship must be cut off from him all relationship it is not my god to deal with the, 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 with the devil and to mourn you with god and my God, it don't work that way, amen. No, no, Pastor no. Michelle, give me a script of this. James chapter 4 and verse 7. Look at James 4 and verse 7. James 4 and verse 7, the Bible reads here. Submit yourself therefore to who? God. Submit yourself to who? God. 
to God. Do what? Resist the devil and he will do what? Resist the devil and the devil have to flee from you. Yes. My God, you have the power to resist him. Amen, amen. If you look also at 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 8 to 9. 1 Peter chapter 5 verses 8 to 9. 1 Peter 5 verses 8 and 9. Praise the Lord. I want you, I want you to go there. Praise the Lord. We got, we got after yes. something here after we go through this script. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. First Peter chapter, chapter 5, verses 8 to 9. You have to say that. Amen. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, he's as a roaring lion walking about. Seeking whom he may devour. And this is the thing, Bishop. Some of us, some of us, you walk around as though we are drunken people. My God, we are deceived. My God, it's the name of the Lord, we're not in our right. Minds. My God, be sober, sober. My God, is either sober, is either drunk or sober? Yes. Is either drunk? Be sober. Be also vigilant, yes. because the adversary, the devil, he's like a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Oh, yes. Look at verse nine. Whom do what? Steadfast. Resist okay. him steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. But that are in the world, knowing my God that are in the world, also praise the name of the Lord. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 to 18. Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. Look at Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. Praise the Lord. We are getting ready to wrap up this part of it. Praise the name of the Lord. I wish. I could have do more. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. 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 My God, yes. Yes. Yes, Minister Deaconess Allen is saying, yes, clinical break. Not like luck wife looking back at Sodom. Yes. Yes, clinical break. It means the cut clean. Amen. amen praise amen, the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We said, second, I'm sorry, Ephesians 6, verses 10 to 18. You have to say, man. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, Take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to do it stand in the evil days. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your Lord's good about the truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet being short with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wear it, you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Same. Praise the Lord. Same. So my God, I want you to understand, my God, we ought to put on the whole armor of God now to survive in this time. Yes, in the yes, evil yes, days, yes, yes, yes. the evil days, why? The devil is like a roaring lion. He's walking about seeking to devour. And Bishop, it's an instruction, eh? My God. If, you, if you desire to be able to stand against the enemy or the devil tonight, you must put on the whole armor. Of God. Must put on the whole armor. Yes. And I want you to understand, listen to Mr. Barney. Hallelujah. He is the primary cause of sin. Yes. And my God, Jesus is coming back to remove him totally. <laughs> Hallelujah. I, I know. <laughs> the Bishop says he's the primary cause of sin. My God, it reflects me. My God, please. Don't underestimate his craftiness. Oh my God. Praise the name of the Lord. He has much more uh, millions of experience over you and I. My know? God, my God. Praise the Lord. You see, you see, you can resist him, but you can't kill him. <laughs> you can resist him, but you can't move him. You know, sometimes we say, Satan has sent you back to hell. Satan is watching us and smile. And you go and make a turn and come back. <laughs> You can I want you to understand. You cannot send Satan back to hell. No, you're not. The, the, you, you come on. You, 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 I want you to know, my God. With the time that Satan is going to be locked up in that pit, there's an angel who have that assignment, 
And for that millennium, for that 1,000 years, Amen. he will lock him up and he will train him and he will put a seal on him. Yes, yes. Because if he don't put that seal, Satan will come out. <laughs> <laughs> so he had a ceiling. <laughs> you know, you know, um my, my wife asked me to look at a movie with her. I think it's, it's yesterday or today. And that movie would have been um Assassin. Oh last night. And last night my wife asked me to look at a movie uh, with her, and, and, movie. And, and it's an old movie Assassin. There's a movie yeah, I liked yeah. I saw the movie before. And and she asked me to look at that movie Assassin. But you know something, this boy um the the the, the, the guy that, 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 that was the other assassin to um I don't know I can't remember his name Antonio um, Banda Antonio Banda yeah with Sylvester right. Stallone uh, Antonio and Antonio Antonio so bad <laughs> he's so bad that, that the police put a a, a, a a cuff on his hand and he was able to move his hand out of place and and take off the handcuff <laughs> and get out of the of the police um, vehicle. I want you to understand, listen, Satan have millennium of millenniums of experience. Oh, yes. Satan have millennium of experience. Even the very angel that have a chain and a key have to make sure he put a seal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Father, we give you praise. Let us look at our last script of this tonight. Uh, second, but my God, but Jesus coming to remove him totally. Second Corinthians coming to chapter 10, verses 4. So no, no children of God, you have the power to resist him. You have the power to bind him. Yes. You have the power to bind him. You can bind, you can bind strongholds. Yes. You can bind my God demons. Yes. But I want you to understand you can't kill them. No. You cannot send them back to, to, to the pit of hell. Yes. Now I want you to understand sometimes I can remember many times that I cast off demons off of persons. And I will tell the demons to go back where you came from. I may tell the demons to go back where you came from. But I want you to understand, my God, it, it, there were demons that I might have been casting out. And the demons might have said, and when I, uh, sometimes I ask the demon, I'm, I'm where you came from. And the demon might say, I come from so-and-so cemetery. And I said, um, who, who sent you? The demon may say, I'm. Um, Call a name of a person and say that person went in so and so cemetery and do so 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 and and that is how I'm here. My God. But I want you to understand. Listen, I cannot send the demon back to hell. I can. At one time, I could remember casting off a demon, <laughs> and I asked the demon, "Who sent you?" And the demon and the demon tell me that the neighbor next door sent him. My God. Casting out a demon from a young lady in a home. And I asked the and I asked the demon. I said, "Who sent you?" The demon said, "The the demon called the lady next door name." She said, the demon said the neighbor. I said, "I said, when did the neighbor send you?" The, the demon said, "The neighbor went in in the cemetery and do certain things." The demon tell, told me everything because the demon was under under heavy pressure from the Holy Ghost. My God. And the, and the demon said, the demon said, and she placed it on a towel for the mother. And the mother, this hang that towel outside by a bathroom. So she placed it for the mother and the daughter went and used the towel and the daughter became demon possessed. My the God. child had legions of demons multiplying her. My God, she had legions of demons in her. Hmm. And I want you to understand this. You know, my God, and, and, and I did that. The Spirit of God told me, and my God, the Spirit of God told me, and God have a reason for everything. I, 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 in my spirit, I question it. But God have a reason for everything. You know, the Spirit of God told me um, to ask the demon, to ask the demon where, um, to, when I told the demon to go back where he came from, he said he don't want to go back there. <laughs> and, and the Spirit of God told me to ask the demon where he wants to go. Mm -hmm. And I, I asked the demon, I said, well, where you would like to go? And it reminds me, of the, of the demon that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ cast into the herds, into the herd of, 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 of swines. Yes, amen. The, the herd of swine and the, the ran, ran, ran violently that, that down is, to the sea. That is important as well, um, Bishop, because even the demons are son of man, you come to, it's not our time, you come to torment us. I, I, yes. For, yeah, for yeah, yeah. So, so, so there is an appointed time, believers. My God, so, for so, all, all these things, even the, the bounding of Satan, my God, a thousand year before the thousand year period. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, yeah. 
So I, I, I want to also finish this because when I asked the demon where he would like to go, the demon said, the demon said he, 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 he wanted that, that the, the neighbor next door have a daughter a little older than the girl that I was seeing about and he wanted to go in the daughter. <laughs> so the demon was asking me to cast him out of the girl and allow him to go in the woman's daughter. My God. So, and the Spirit of God told me to send one of my, one of my um, um, members, one of my followers, to go over by the neighbor and tell the neighbor that we, 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 are, we are casting out a, a, a devil here in the, in, in the house of, of this neighbor, but the, the, the devil is saying that she has a daughter and he wants to go into her daughter. Yes. And I, I sent somebody to tell the neighbor that. Mm -hmm. In a short space of time, I had the neighbor daughter flying coming over. <laughs> and the neighbor running behind her, begging, Sir, please, I'm sorry for what happened. I'm sorry for what I did. Don't let this happen to my daughter. My God. But somebody, I want you to understand, listen to me, somebody. You know, the devil, he has a lot of experience. Yes. You cannot kill him, come on somebody, but you have the power to resist the devil. You have the power to cast him out. And you, you know, Bishop, even simple things, uh, and I shouldn't say simple, sorry. My God, things, I should say like depressions different forms of depressions and oppressions my god you can't allow my god these these negative vibes as we call them negative vibes or, or i should say demonic strongholds get the better of you my god for some of us we lose like attention amen, we amen. Lose attention so we allow depression to take the, to get the better of us amen, amen, like amen failing to realize that my god these are demonic strongholds that works in satan's kingdom amen you amen don't give room to the enemy you don't give us. room you don't you, you don't, don't give room to him. You don't understand that yeah. we, are, you are, we are engaged in spiritual warfare every day. Yeah. And you must be mindful of his craftiness. Yeah. You know, Pastor Michel, that child that I'm talking about here, that young lady. Yes. That young lady was so um, possessed in terms of the, um, the legions of demons that was in her. Mm -hmm. That that young lady was levitating. Wow. She was levitating. My God, she could not have stayed on, on, on the ground. She will levitate. And I want you to understand, my God, listen to me. It was something to behold. But I want you to understand, my God, I want you to know that God has given you the power to deal with these demons. Amen. Jesus Amen. came Amen. and he dealt, my God, with the effect of yes. sin. Yes. And I want you to understand, my God, all these things are the effect of sin. Effect. Yes. And my God, and Jesus Hallelujah, he did not take the key back with him to heaven, but he said, Behold, I give to you the keys of the kingdom. Whatsoever you bind on the earth, it shall be bound in the heavens. Whatsoever you loose on the earth, it shall be loose in the heavens. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus gave to you the keys of, of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Amen. You have the power in your hands. Hallelujah. Amen. Our last scripture verse for the night, Pastor Michelle. 2 Corinthians 2, 11. 2 Corinthians 2, verses 11. Verses 11. We are reading verses 11. Lest Satan should get an advantage. Yes. And I love that. Lest Satan, praise the Lord, should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant. <laughs> we are not ignorant of his devices. Of his devices. Yes, yes. Devices there. Devices there. It speaks about mine. It includes the idea of purpose and design. The devil will take advantage of every failure of the Christian. He will take every time as a child of God you fail. If you miss the mark, if you don't understand the purpose of God, My the God. devil is going to take advantage. Yes, yes, yes. Using it also to get into your life and cause your downfall. Come on. The, My God. Every opportunity that the devil get, he will use it. He is going to use it. You know, my God, it is Paul who said in 1 Corinthians 10 and verses 10, he said, they have no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, 
who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able, but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that you will be able to bear it. Hallelujah. You know, Bishop, and I can feel, I can feel true, I should say the eyes of faith tonight, that God is directly ministering to somebody. Oh, oh hallelujah. God, praise the name of the Lord. Because hallelujah. You know, what you are experiencing physically, my, hallelujah. God, my God, with the natural senses, you are believing to yourself that this is it for you. My but God. My God, you have to rise up and fight that good fight of faith. Tonight. My God. Know that God is not finished with you. Praise the name of the Lord. And all his promises, my God, towards you tonight. Hallelujah. Is yea and amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The enemy, my God, wants you continue to give him room. To Hallelujah. Pray. He's going to function within that capacity. Oh, the moment, my God, you Go exit him out. My God, from the moment you trust him out tonight Oi. and you leave no more room Hallelujah. for him. Praise the name of the Lord. God is going to show up himself in ways, my God, you have not seen. Before. My God. Praise the name of the Lord. My God. So I feel that. My God, that's a Hallelujah. for somebody tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Pastor Michelle, I would like to pause here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would like to pause here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, we give God praise and thanks for you. Amen. Tonight, you're out there and you never accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as your personal and indwelling Savior. Yes. And Sister Lopez is saying, leave no room for the enemy. Yes, amen. Leave amen. no room for the devil. Only, Hallelujah. That's a rhema word tonight. Oh, that's Rabba a rhema word. Rabba leave no room for him. Leave no Rabba room. Praise the name of God. You are out there and you never accepted Jesus as a personal and indwelling Savior. We want to give you that opportunity tonight. Can you say these words after me? Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, in the name of your son Jesus, your son, Jesus I, come you, I come before you, asking of you, asking of you to, forgive me for to forgive me for the many sins, the many sins I've, committed you, I've committed against you in thoughts, in, thoughts, in, words, in words, and in deeds. And in deeds. Blood of, of my transgression. Let your integrity, let your integrity and let of brightness preserve, preserve me. Father, I put my trust Father, in you. I, put my trust I in commit you. my life I unto you. Life unto Teach you. me to know you, Teach me to, know to, you. Love you. to love you, and to serve and you. To serve you. Father, Father, I pray your protection. Pray your protection. Lord, Lord, I give my all to you. All in Jesus' name, name I pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Allen, I'm seeing that he who started a good work in us yes, is faithful to complete it. Amen. 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 Sister, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I can feel some of you right now are in the spirit. Hallelujah. Some of you, the anointing is all over you. Hallelujah. I can feel it. I can sense it. Thank you, Jesus. That the anointing of God is all Hallelujah. over you. Oh, Hallelujah. yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, the presence of the Lord. Father, we be given the praise. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, thank for the anointing. Jesus. Thank you for the anointing. Hallelujah. Thank you for the anointing. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we give it the praise. Praise the Lord. We give it the praise. Thank you, Jesus. We give it the honor. Hallelujah. We give it the glory. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord tonight. You may have your tithes and offering and your special offering. Praise the name of the Lord. We told you, hallelujah, that this season, it is, my God, a good season to make sure that you present yourself, hallelujah, with, with my God, a, a special offering unto the Lord. Praise the Lord. You know, my family, we don't make joke with that in this season, amen, amen. because we are looking to God for much. So, my God, so we don't come empty-handed before the Lord, hallelujah, in these seasons. Hallelujah. Amen. God's been good to you. I've been blessing you. 
praise the name of the Lord. You have a job and mm -hmm. you are receiving an income, my God, on a monthly basis. Mm -hmm. God has been good to you. Mm -hmm. Brother, sister, don't, mm -hmm. my God, hesitate to be good to God. Mm -hmm. You can never outgive God. He will Thank always you. multiply Thank back you. unto you. Hallelujah. Thank it is you. only the more you give, it is the more you will receive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, don't hold back on God. Thank the same you. way, hallelujah, that you would have been a blessing, hallelujah, to the my God, to the work of God. My God, when you are in person, my God, together in the church, remember you still have that opportunity to be that blessing, hallelujah. Don't hold back on being that blessing. All the mechanisms are in place for you to be a blessing unto God. Don't, my God, please don't rub him. My God, don't rob him. I know, my God, it is important for us to pay our taxes. It is important for us to pay our 25% tax to Caesar. My God, we all have to make sure, my God, that we give inland revenue to 25%. I want you to understand, hallelujah, God has been good to you. Hallelujah, God has been good to you. Give something to God. Hallelujah, don't ever fail to give to God. Mm. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. Yes. You have your tithes and your offering in your hands. Mm. You, Can Jesus. you just lift it before the Lord right now? Hallelujah. Father in heaven, yes, Lord. dear Lord, we thy servant come before you. In Jesus Almighty God, giving you praise and thanks. Yes, Father. Father, because the earth is the Lord's and yes, the fullness Jesus. thereof. Yes, Lord. And all they that dwell therein. Yes. Father, in the midst of recessions, yes, in the midst of famine, O oh God, Jesus. in the midst of drug losses, yes, Father. Father, you have blessed us with a job. Yes, Powerful God, in the midst of Almighty God of, of many cry economically. Father, oh God, you have blessed us with monthly salaries yes, and is still blessing us, oh Lord. Yes, Father, we come by here to give back to you. Yes, knowing the Lord that you are well able to multiply well back to Lord. us. Yes. Father, knowing that you are well able to secure and preserve yes. our jobs. Yes. You are well able to secure and to preserve our going out yes. and our coming in. Yes. Father, we place, oh God, our tithes and offering in into of your hands. Yes. Almighty God, we lift and dedicate the givers. Yes. Father, bless them in their going out. Yes. Bless them in their coming in. Yes. Whatsoever they put their hands to do, yes. we declare that they will prosper in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. Father, bless their husband. Yes. Bless their wife. Yes. Bless their children. Yes. Let your angels build camp around their home. Yes. Father, God, no weapon that it will ever be formed yes. against them shall prosper. Yes. And all that will rise up, we condemn it right now yes. in the name name of Jesus. Father God, heal them from infirmities. Almighty God, heal the bodies right now. Father, that they may have strength, oh God, to earn more. Oh God, to give much more to you. Father, oh God, be glorified in them. Be lifted up in them. Be exalted in them, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody say, and everybody say, and everybody say, Amen. 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 Happy Republic Day. Praise the Lord Praise as we Lord. celebrate my God the date that not the first sitting of our parliament. Amen. The 24th. The 24th. This would have happened on the, the 24th of September 1976. Praise the Lord. The 24th of September 1976 would have been the first sitting of uh, our parliament. We received independence on the 1st of August Thank you, 1962. My God. But we became a Republican state in 1976. <laughs> and we have much to give God praise for. Oh yes, we became a Republican state on the 1st of August. In 1976, but we celebrate Republic on the 24th of September, on the 24th of September every year because it is the first sitting of our parliament. Enjoy the rest of the day. Praise 
Praise the Lord. Enjoy it. Yeah. And uh, I know that Pastor Mitchell have some announcement. Uh, my, 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 my co-partner, <laughs> my, my you know, God, my motivation. My God, after God. <laughs> after God, the God, yes. God have her there yeah. to motivate me. You know, I want to send out a special good night to our dear Deacon Ainsley Jackman. You know, we miss you. I see that you are watching from work tonight. Duty Amen. beyond, praise the name of the Lord. A special All is good working. night going out to you. We love you, brother. Praise the name of the Lord, a wonderful man of God tonight. Amen. Uh, just a happy birthday again. Extended happy birthday again to our very own brother Sheldon Johnson. Praise the name of the Lord. We love you dearly. Continue to enjoy the rest of your birthday. I know for those who were born in September month, my God, as inclusive of myself, we are celebrating whole month. <laughs> Praise the name of so the Lord. Like the self. <laughs> So, the light you know, so believers, we are back uh, on should the Lord tarry. We are back on on uh, this coming Sunday morning at ten at him I'm going to say ten a.m. eight thirty a.m. eight thirty eight thirty a.m. and as well Sunday evening we have the feast of atonement service that will be starting six p.m. If there's any shift in the schedule for this coming Sunday, we will post bulletins to let you know. But please ensure that you do the necessary preparations before you enter into the Feast of Atonement. And what are those preparations? Make sure that you set aside some time, some special time, my God, to spend with God one and one tonight. Praise the name of the praise Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Over now on, on, on Monday evening, praise the name of the Lord, I would like to meet with all um, persons who have responsibilities, I'm going to I'm going to send links to you in the church in La Hauketa. All persons who have responsibilities, I would like to meet with you on Monday evening. I'll send links to you, and on Wednesday evening, I would like to meet with all persons who have responsibilities, all elders, all ministers, all um, praise the name of the Lord, whatsoever positions you hold uh, um, in the ministry. I will want all um, um, different um, um, committees. Praise the name of the Lord. I will send. Um, I will send links to these people. You will know yourself. I'll send links to you. Each of you will get a link, and you will be notified that you have to be in that meeting on Wednesday. That is Amen. Wednesday evening. Wednesday evening, Aruka, and uh, Monday, La Hokita. So, La Hokita, all those who have responsibility, worshippers, whether you are a worshipper, head of department, the deacons, deaconess, um, um, ministers, um, all are expected to um, be a part of that meeting. I need, we need to talk a bit. Praise the name of the Lord. We know that the 11th is very um, shortly ahead of us, and there is a possibility that um, the the ban may be lifted on the 11th for churches and we may be back in the house so we need to talk a bit praise the name of the lord and we want to start some discussion um from next week praise the name of the lord so you can look out expect um the links that will be sent to you and i will be expecting you in those meetings put off everything else please as much as you can do so and endeavor to be in those meetings amen Amen. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. That our daughter Kylie, our baby Kylie, sending out greetings and happy Republic Day on behalf of the family. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Now, when you see Carl St. Rose there, it's not me. Um, <laughs> it, it, it is a member of the family that speaks on behalf of the family. Oh, and it, the is, youngest, and the youngest. it is Kylie. And when you see, um, you, sometimes you see my um, sign come up there. And you um, think it's me? I, I cannot really um, interfere with the phone because I am on on set, you know. Um, so um, but Kylie, she is the one that manages that um, during this this time when we are on. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise so the Lord. remember that on Sunday it's it's um, um, feast of atonement. Evening, um, evening. In the evening, that is Sunday evening. So yes, Sunday yeah. morning we are having service and we are having Sunday evening service. And we will be sung in the chauffeur and we will be also doing the atonement benediction. On that night we are going to be declaring God's blessings upon your life. 
We want you for those of you who don't have olive oil, get yourself a little bottle of olive oil so that we can lift it up and you can anoint your whole family. Praise the name of the Lord. We know that the anointing breaks every yoke and that the olive oil, it represents a type of the anointing. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we encourage you to get the olive oil. I'm hoping that I am still in shape to help blow the shofar <laughs> on Sunday. Um, so I will be blowing the shofar. I personally, with, I should say more or less, um, the others will be blowing the shofar on um, um, Sunday. So you can look forward to that. Um, I'll be blowing the shofar on praise Sunday. The praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord. the Lord. So praise the Lord. So at this point in time, we want to leave you to enjoy the rest of the Republic. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, you just continue. It's a special day in history. Praise the name of the Lord for Amen. Trinidad and Tobago. And please let us continue to remember um, where we were and where we are. And even we know, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, that we ought to remember also um, the calendar, God's calendar also. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. So can you just lift your hands like this with the grace of our God and the sweet fellowship of his Holy Spirit. Continue to rest, remain and abide with us, both now and forever. And everybody say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. We love you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Stay sweet. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord.